about 35,000 firemen, some full-time and some part-time, are ready day and night to protect lives and property from Britain's gravest national peril, the fire menace. But standing by doesn't just mean standing around. Physical fitness is kept up by exercise, and then there's the constant job of maintaining the equipment on which lives depend. In the control room, a call is answered in a split second. Dial 999 in London, and within five minutes, the brigade will be there. London Fire Brigade, Tyre Street, off Vauxhall Street. index card is kept for every street in the area. It shows the nature of surrounding fire risks and indicates the number of appliances that must be sent as well as the position of the nearest fire stations. serious blaze, a mobile control centre keeps in constant touch with headquarters by radio. Last year, fires cost the country £44 million. To combat this alarming wastage, the fire research station probes into causes of fires and ways of putting them out. Everyone knows that draught fans flames, but here the extent is measured scientifically. Ducts Carrying gases or flammable vapours in factories are a great source of danger. This experiment shows how safety vents can reduce the force of an explosion. Plastic covers are another form of relief vent. When fire breaks out in an enclosed space, it's often impossible for firemen to get to the seat of the fire. Here, gas from a jet engine is used to smother the fire from outside. Not long ago, two firemen died in a fire at London's Smithfield Market. This jet engine method, if successful, may stop such a tragedy happening again. As the backroom research men produce new ideas, fire brigades test them out. In a port like Glasgow, mixed cargoes present every kind of fire hazard. The new fire float, St Mungo, can soon speed to any part of the Clyde. Her engines can pump 7,500 gallons of water a minute for a distance of a quarter of a mile through 52 jets at once. And there's not much chance of the water supply running out. As well as fires on ships, dockside fires are fought from the float, supporting shore-based fire engines. to research. This mock-up of a block of flats is furnished with fuel equal to the burning power of a family's possessions. Then the flats are faced with different materials to find out which will best prevent the spread of fire from one floor to another. Already results of this work are incorporated in new buildings, 
part of a move to fight fires before they start. Until less than a hundred years ago, firefighting was the insurance company's job. At one time, insured houses carried plates to show that the premium had been paid and they could be sure of attention from the company's engines. With its present strength of 2,500, the London Fire Brigade has gone a long way in under a century. The first job of a fireman is to save life. Putting out the fire and saving property come later. At a mass practice like this, the fireman gets to know how to tackle almost any problem. A basic part of a fireman's training is hook ladder drill. In many built up areas, this is the only way to get to the top of a blazing building. To you or me, this 100-foot climb may seem terrifying, but firemen know they will have to work on heights, and risks are eliminated by thorough training and regular practice. The turntable ladder is used as a water tower as well as an escape route. It's incredible how accurately it can be manoeuvred up to the height of an eighth floor window. Oil fires are among the firemen's nightmares and research is always going on for new methods of quenching them. Jets of water merely spread the inferno. Foam can do much by cutting off air from the fire and water fog, a fine cloud of droplets, is nowadays used a great deal. In England and Wales, the fire brigades turn out about 200,000 times a year. Scotland deals with nearly 25,000 fire calls a year. Some of the calls may seem trivial, but often only because the brigade was called in time. Once a big fire has got going, it may take many hours to get it under control. In spite of all the courage of the firemen and all the modern equipment, about 600 people lose their lives in fires each year. And the biggest single cause of fires, say the experts, is just carelessness. 